Hello and welcome to super short highlights of the 2014 UF1R United States Grand Prix. We're at Watkins Glen for the fifth round and Edster leads the standings being pursued by Roy who is nine points behind and Sammy three points behind him. Iron in fourth place seems to have disappeared off the face of the earth. The Marusi team of Sammy and Doof narrowly leads Williams and McLaren. It was an extremely close qualifying of Edster triumphing of 41.205. Sammy just pipped a second, Roy only six hundredths behind pole. Skoda surprising everyone by out-qualifying his teammate Modius. Steven lines up in sixth. In seventh, the driver is having our first official race of us, it's Dance Trance, the race of champions winner. Two more newcomers. Blue Scene apparently thought that the race was in the evening for some reason. An exam in the background, you may notice, has absolutely no idea what the f he's doing. You saw Demish there in 11th, making a welcome return, followed by Grant, Cast, Diablo, Cyrus, then 622, who has also disappeared off the face of the earth, Doof Doof, and Justin, who didn't bother saying a time. So this is it, the championship fight is heating up. Who is going to be Monarch of the Glen? Sammy reacts very slowly to the lights, but Roy gets a blinding start. So Roy's in the lead, followed by Edster, and then the BTS cars as they go flowing through the S's. Edster attacking Roy round the outside, and Roy looks to cut back underneath, but the Englishman covers it off. Oh, up and over, Nitrous is out. Roy looks like he's shaping up to make a move on Edster through the S's. He's going through and Roy retakes the lead. Edster not going to give up, he picks his moment. And just a lap later now it's Edster back in the lead. Roy pulls alongside as they go into turn one. Oh, great move. Oh, mistake by Roy, Edster goes straight back through. Sammy eyeing up the gearbox and making a challenge for second place, he takes it. This is an incredible duel, they're so evenly matched at the moment as Sammy makes move on Roy. And Ed runs wide, Sammy who's going to take the lead. And Ed's desperately trying to fight back, he's got a good run going into turn one, all too wide. Ed's still running in second place, all but not for much longer. And it just goes from bad to worse for him, all chances of victory lost. And exams out of fuel. Oh, bad mistake from Demish at the chicane. Just in the Force India starting to attack Grant. And Cast has been disconnected for the second race in a row. He's running just ahead of these two. That Skoda goes over. He had three laps left to run. He was in a strong fifth place, but Sammy here takes the victory. Surprisingly, his car was more smashed up than Doof Doof. So there's Roy who takes second ahead of Ed. He closed a bit at the end, but it wasn't too late for Ed uh, to get second place. But not too late for Justin to relieve Grant of seventh. Just a couple of laps left for these two. Oh, and Justin hits the chicane. Dead stop. That's going to let Grant right back through. Well, once again, Sammy delivered the masterclass on how to make a comeback. You wouldn't think he missed the last race. It's like he's never been away. So once he got into the lead, he was untouchable. Roy did his best, but couldn't hold a candle to him. Very disappointing race for Edster. After he put it on pole, many expected him to win, but that didn't happen. Morgius put in a strong run to beat Steven. Best of the new drivers being Dance to Trance in 6th. A very impressive performance from yet another Belgian. Grant very lucky that Justin made that mistake at the end. Then Cyrus, Doof Doof and the non-finishers. Got to feel for Skoda who is just 3 laps away from that great result. But don't despair French fans, there may be hope for Skoda yet. Because he finished 90% of the race he may get the points for 11th place. Anyway, moving on to the driver's standings now, and Edster's lead has been massively cut by Sammy. It has gone from a comfy 9 points to a not very comfy at all 3. And of course, Roy's strong performance means he's just 2 behind Sammy. Iron hasn't shown up for 2 races, but somehow he's managed to keep in 4th place on 74 points. And Justin has got a big fight on his hands, he's equal on points with Modius. Justin having some very weak rounds recently, and Modius having some very strong ones. His teammate and Steven are 13 points down. Chris has slumped to 9th. Grant is only 4 points behind in 10th. Diablo in 11th. He was unlucky to be disconnected today, so we didn't see that. 622 is 12th. Cyrus up in 13th for Caterham. Then it's Lurino, Cast, Doof Doof, Dance the Trance, Tom and Jake, Demish, and Exam. 
The Constructors Championship is a pretty similar affair. Marussia first, 163 points. Then it's Williams in second, ahead of McLaren by a single point. Caterham, 41 points behind. And rapidly being closed on by Force India, Mercedes and Ferrari, who are all within six points of one another. Finally, Lotus in last. And they've been suffering recently from the fact that neither of their drivers turned up to this race. 622 have been missing for some reason or other, and Lorino being ill. Get well soon, mate. Speaking of illness, we received some very bad news recently that one of our drivers, Blue Scene, is in hospital at the moment after heart related issues. Our thoughts with him, his friends, and his family in Slovakia. I really hope that he makes a full recovery and we see him back on the grid in the next few months. I'll see you all at the next race at Mossport Park this weekend. Goodbye everyone.